The Titans now stand at number one first place in the AFC at 6-2. Uh, this was a, a heavyweight fight. We knew this was going to be a battle. Blow for blow. You score, they score. That's the thing about this team, we're just resilient. We're going to keep swinging, we're going to keep swinging, and we're going to make a play, big play at the end of the game. Hey, I love going to war with y'all boys, man. We're going to fight to the end. We're not talking to them, man. You got to play. And Bracey, like Coach said, man, we're going to keep this rolling. Family on three. One, two, three. Family. Titans Blitz coming to you live from Nissan Stadium. I am Lance Smith. These Titans fans are excited. And right here with me, the voice of the stadium, the PA announcer, Mr. Matt yeah. Rogers. You're the best. Dude, good to see you. It's Glad you're bad. here. Uh, we are atop the AFC. Yeah. We're the number one seed. Yeah. 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 What? Uh, but of course, victory Monday was was Ugh. was a roller coaster of emotion and uh tragically sadly we don't have uh, we don't have Derrick Henry for a while our marquee player how did you, did you did you take that news Matt I could hardly believe it when I heard <laughs> yeah. the news today it was a little bit of that oh dude it was it was bad I was sitting in the car rider line dropping my daughter off at school and I'm like what is happening right now? Because we're Why? kind of, I mean, because we, we just swept the Colts. I, I mean, it's, Victory Monday feels it's like, like, what? It's and so this. hard being a Titan fan. It's like, even when we're winning, they just. <clears throat> but it wasn't, strangely enough, though, it, it's terrible news. Don't get me wrong. Right. But there is a tremendous sort of silver lining out of all of this. John Robinson gets on the horn, apparently had Adrian Peterson on speed dial, ready to go. He's a Titan in five minutes. So uh, cool. Yeah, Adrian Peterson is a Tennessee Titan. What? <laughs> um, I don't care that he's 36. He runs hard. Yes. Uh, so, I mean, it, it's been a crazy whirlwind. And no timetable for return, but they're looking with this, with this uh, Jones fracture. He really could be back. Henry could be back for the playoffs. Wow. Yes. So somebody feed him grapes, foot massages, and let's roll into the playoffs. Uh, Matt Rogers, you're here. Let's do some hot takes with Matt, and let's talk about uh, this, this Colts game because, like I said, we swept these Colts. Uh, you know, look, 14 early? I mean, <laughs> I mean, it was so like, of course, this is us. I think I was texting you. Yeah. Uh, not good things. Um, <laughs> but it's, it started out bad because, you know, like it was one of those things. They came out, they had a good drive. You know, kudos to the Colts. Sure, Colts. They sure. They came out with a good drive. I'm like, okay. And then after the interception happened quick, I'm like, oh, no, it's not going to be one of those games. And then when A.J. broke, it's like, okay, the fact that we can come back in Indy under yeah. those conditions, Henry with a broken foot the entire game pretty much, yeah. and still win, like, dude, we're a good football team. Like, we're a really very good. good football team, and that was a very Titans thing to do, a very Vrabel coach thing to do, yes. finding ways to win. It's what they do. Uh, down 14 early was hard, but yeah, it was that battle, battle, battle. You expect nothing less in a divisional game. The, uh, the Elijah Molden interception on, pick baby. six. <laughs> Bud Dupree right here. Watch Bud at the bottom of the screen. He hits the ground, comes up. It's Nico Autry right there. Bud with that. And then this. Like, Wentz, <laughs> what are you doing? Simmons. Simmons is my favorite. Simmons, of course. Strangely enough, though, a, a safety with just two points would have been better because it would have given us the ball. Uh, but, yeah, this was just our front uh, pass rush. It's been doing this uh, as of late, and I love so it. So exciting. Um, I was screaming. I, you know, when he did that, I was screaming, you dub, you dub, because he's Washington. Right. And I was going to wear my Rose Bowl ring tonight to represent. But, like, I was so happy that it was him, and I'm so happy that – we have a pass rush yeah. this year, and like you're waiting for Landry and, and Simmons, yes, and 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 Bud to do what they do, and it's it's happening. Well, and it's freeing up uh, a guy we love so much, the mayor of Mur Murfreesboro, Kevin Byard, our safety. Yeah, yeah. Kevin. Now, so of course, Kevin gives up the the, the pi at the, at the uh, one yard line of the end zone, but he makes up for it right there. That's redemption. Uh, this guy. Is, uh, is having one heck of a season, Kevin Byard is. And, of course, uh, that set up uh, the game-winning field goal by one, our own <laughs> Randy Bullock. Kicker. Yeah. 
So that sets up the game-winning field goal. We have a kicker. His name is Randy, uh, and the locker room loves him. Uh, set up this uh, post-game. Check this out. Randy Bullock, congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. Been a long road, right, Randy? I mean, there's some frequent fire miles that be caught, tossed around as a kicker. So you got a home, man. You made a home here, okay? What? Yeah, he's got a home. He is the AFC Special Teams Player of the Week. Give it up for Randy Bullock. The Titans kicker story continues, but I, I like this chapter. It's it's just it's happening. Like we have a pass rush, we have a kicker. It's like yeah. look how far we've come, and it's happening. And he's awesome. Like when your head coach looks at you in front of the team mm -hmm. and says you have a home here, yeah, that just takes your confidence through the roof. He doesn't have to worry anymore. He doesn't have to look over his shoulder. And um, I would probably pick him up on my fantasy team. Might for just all of you do players. that. Yeah, I uh, love what he's uh, what he's bringing home for us. And, of course, you mentioned this already. Uh, A.J. Brown, back-to-back -back big games. Uh, what do you have? Uh, Ten receptions, 155 yards, and a TD. Uh, he's, you know, he's kind of a Derrick Henry of wide receivers in a way. I mean, he's big and strong. And uh, he is the guy we're definitely leaning to uh, right now. It's awesome. But, I, got, I got a funny story. When I, when I got the job as the PA announcer and I was uh, Instagram with a couple guys, to him, I'm like, hey, I'm really looking forward to announcing your name. And he said, make sure you say, always open A.J. Brown. So <laughs> that's what he says. So. <laughs> hey, I, he is always, always open. open. I baby. love it. All right. We're going to talk about uh, how they're going to replace Henry uh, at the end of the show. Talk about that game coming up Sunday night in L.A. What a game that's going to be. But it's a uh, new look Titans with Henry on the sideline for now. But like I said, silver lining in it all right now. Titans number one in the AFC. Yeah. We got more Titans blitz on the other side right now. Here's some Nissan memorable moments. We will be right back. Stick around. Loving it. So he's in trouble. He tries to left hand it out. It's intercepted by Molden. Touchdown, tight. And Elijah Molden, the rookie, is there to snatch the gift out of the air. Snap, set, kick. Yes! yes! That was so good. Randy Bullock and the tight with a treat at Lucas Oil Stadium. The Titans Blitz coming to you live from Nissan Stadium. Lance and Matt back with you. Uh, we talked about that big Colts win, the mm. sweep as it yeah. was. Take a break from football for a second. Talk about the fans. You guys are the best fans yeah. in the NFL. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's awesome. I mean, we do, especially, you know, hey, when we're winning, the fan base is real hot. Yes. Uh, but, no, seriously, I love Titans fans. You know, last year, Brandon Galloway, a Tennessee Titans fan, was named the NFL Fan of the Year. He won the whole thing. Teams are nominating fans. We've done it again this year. We have nice. a, a Fan of the Year. And, of course, we've, we've surprised them. We did this kind of with you getting the job, getting being surprised yes. like in video. It was awesome. Hit you out of nowhere, right? And now we did it for the fan of the fan of the of the year. The, the our fan of the year nominee this year. Yeah, it was, it's very cool. Uh, I, but it's a it's a moment that. I mean, when you're on camera and you're being surprised by something, as you know, I mean, you can't control it. You're your good emotions. at it, though. You hide the cards well. Like, you don't know if you're doing good or not. When you're, but you're like, bam. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a complete liar is what he's <laughs> saying. Uh, anyway, this is a very special package, uh, and you'll, you'll love this person right here. Check out our Fan of the Year nominee package. Hi. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, I know all these people. Stephanie Perkins. Say hi. What's up, Nick? Hi. Hey, man. Tighten up. <laughs> Tighten up, yes. That is the chant. <laughs> that is the mantra. We got all the ladies here. Stephanie? Yes. I've been going around asking Hi. people what their schedule's like this year. Are you busy February 13th? Uh, no, I don't think so. Think hey, four. Nate, check this out. Nate, do you love your mom? Yeah. Yeah? So do a lot of people, because your mom is awesome, isn't she? Yeah. Yeah, she's awesome. She's so awesome, in fact, putting this whole Ladies of Titan sweater together and everybody loves her that, hey, Stephanie, yeah. I know, I know what a Titans fan you are. In fact, you're such a fan that 
we want you to be this year's nominee for Fan of the Year for the Titans. <laughs> So, hey, Stephanie, that's why I wanted to know if you're busy on the 13th because you're going to the Super Bowl. Hello? <laughs> oh, Stephanie, in, in, in addition to that, and actually, look, the Super Bowl is awesome, let's face it. You're, we're really going to celebrate you on the final game of the year. And I, this, this to me, is cooler because it's our house, but we want you to be the 12th Titan and plunge that sword into the ground at the end of the season. Because you represent... You represent not only the ladies of Titans Twitter, you represent us, you represent me, and the way that you carry yourself, and the way you share your love for your friends, your family, the team, and that, that son of yours right there. I know how much you love him. Uh, we love you, Stephanie. Congratulations, Stephanie. I'm so happy for you. I'm so proud of you. I love the group, and it's always tighten up, baby. Hi Stephanie, this is Melody, and I just wanted to say a big congratulations to you on Fan of the Year. We are so excited for you, and I hope you enjoy every minute because you deserve this. Stephanie, congratulations on being named the Titans Fan of the Year. We are all so, so excited for you. I can't think of anyone more deserving. We love you, we appreciate you. Thank you for creating a safe space for all of us ladies to talk all things Titans. This group that you created has given me some lifelong friends and you're one of those. So um, I'm just so excited for you and all the things that you're gonna get to experience. Tighten up, girl. This group right here as a whole uh, makes our entire fan base light years better. <laughs> I'm just, I'm so thankful. I just, I can't even, like, I can't wrap my head around any of this yet. You, Stephanie, and yeah, man, I was emotional. Can't I was trying to hold it back. Cry. Those, that, those moments are huge. Stephanie, I wish you were my mom. That was awesome. <laughs> that was awesome. It was. All right, we got a little bit more Titans Blitz on this side, including our Titans Trivia Gauntlet. Big questions coming up, big prizes at the end of it. Stick around, Titans Blitz. We'll be right back. Don't go far. To the Titans Blitz, Lance Smith here with you. Matt is uh, hanging out in the wings. We'll talk about that game in L.A. in a little bit. Right now, though, as you can see, we have contestants dressed up, ready to go. It's time to play the... The Titans Trivia Gauntlet. Spooky as it is, Halloween is finished, but, but not for some of us. Not for some of us. Uh, gentlemen, how are you doing? I've got Joe here to my left. Joe, you're from Nashville? Yes, sir. Yeah, I see you all the time. Huge Titans fan. Yes, sir. Love having you here. I know, baby. And uh, Spidey Titan, right? Spider, Spider Titan. Sir. Spider Titan, sorry. Yes, sir. I, 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 Spidey, it's an old thing from my childhood. It's all good. Uh, I'm glad you're here, Thank ready you. to go. No web slinging in this contest. <laughs> Trivia. Got a big prize on the line. Here we go. Question number one, Spidey, Spider Titan. You uh, won our rock, paper, scissors competition. In the break, you have the first question. Here it is. What is the name of the Tennessee Titans division? AFC Multiple South. Multiple choice. Yeah, AFC South, North, East, <laughs> he knows it. It's AFC South, of course. Uh, moving on to the next question. This one's for you, Joe. What annual music festival is held at Nissan Stadium during the Titans off season? That would be the CMA Festival. See, I'm not even giving multiple choice. You guys are just on this thing. I'm not going to run through it. It is the CMA Fest. We are all tied up. Spider Titan, back to you. Sir, following a win, what is the most common award given by a head coach to the player of the game? The game ball, the MVP trophy, popsicle, a watch? What do you think? Game ball. That would be the game ball, of course. Of course, yes. Spider-Man's in the lead. Spider-Titan's in the lead. Here we go, Joe. Which of these colors is not a Tennessee Titans team color? Which of these is not a Tennessee Titans team color? Navy, light blue, aqua. Uh, red, aqua. or aqua. Yeah. Of course, he knows. Aqua, not a color. That belongs to maybe the Dolphins? Chrome's my favorite color. Uh, moving on, next question for you, Spider Titan. What is the name of the financial rule for teams that help keep competitive balance in the NFL? Is that the uh, debt ratio, the salary cap, transition tag, or team budget? Salary cap. Salary cap. Three points to you. Joe, back at you. Tight game here, folks. 
Uh, since the beginning of the 1999 season, which opponent have the Titans faced the most times? Here we go, multiple choice. The Broncos, the Ravens, the Jaguars, or the Colts? Joe, what say you? That would be the Jaguars. That would be the Jaguars. Do you know why? Why? NFC Central, remember that? No, that's also or our, AFC other, our other home field. Yes, our other home field, that's what we know. All right, final question, here we go, Spider-Man. Who was the Titans' starting quarterback for all but one game during their 10-0 start in the 2008 season? Kerry Collins, Vince Young, Matt Hasselbeck, or Steve McNair? Kerry Collins. Kerry Collins! Oh, no. Kerry Collins is your answer? Yes, sir. Kerry Collins is correct. That is the final <laughs> question here. <laughs> oh, we got a tiebreaker. What? Is that four points? Four points to the judges? That's four points. Unfortunately, my friend, he wins. Spider-Man wins. Web and all. Congratulations, Ooh. sir. That's four points, Joe. I'm sorry. Spider-Man wins this one. Where's our, uh, where's our confetti? Where's our big booming? Where's our applause? There it is! It was a race to four. Where is my prize? I know you won't drop this because you've got sticky hands. It comes with a uh, certificate of authentication. It is a signed football by none other than A.J. Oh, Brown. Wow. Round of applause Woo! for Spider Titan! Woo! Right here! Woo! Face to be revealed later. We've got more Titans Blitz all on the other side. Stick around, we're gonna talk about that game in Los Angeles. We will be right back. Very nice. From Nissan Stadium, Lance and Matt, back with you. Uh, it's fun to be a Titans fan. Yes, it is. Looking good right now, even though Derek's a little banged up. But we're good. We're, we're feeling it. We are a really, really, really good team. We have a really good coaching staff. And don't be shocked if the Titans shock the world this Sunday. I'm just going to say Listen, it. Listen, there are, yeah. There's some notable names out there and pundits and whatnot. Uh, Kyle Brandt uh, said it. Uh, Adam Rank, who usually picks against us, said, hey, Titans with the surprise upset. Totally possible. How does it get done? How does it get done? It gets done up front with the offensive line because they have been inconsistent. Mm -hmm. And when they play well, we play well. And don't forget, Tannehill's a phenomenal quarterback. We signed that deal for a reason. And A.J. Brown is a stud. Keep your fingers crossed for Julio to get back on the field because he makes a difference when he's in. We got a passing game. It's yeah, going to be nice. No, it's true. It's true. And but, but I think people need to realize this. You know, it's not that we would walk out there and give something up, but there really is no pressure. I mean, we virtually locked up the South with this game. It's a 97% chance that we win the division mm -hmm. after having won this game. So not having pressure, we get to sort of play free. We're trying to figure out what that backfield looks like. Um, but, yeah, it's, I would say, though, that this is a huge test for our secondary, mm, given time. that this is Matthew Stafford. I yep. mean, they went after this guy who was lighting it up in Detroit but just couldn't get the job done. Now he's definitely lighting up here, and Cooper Cup is the guy to, uh, to put Cooper three Cup, guys on. <laughs> Cooper Cup is on track to break every fantasy record in the history of fantasy football wide, yeah. by a wide receiver. Yeah. It's unbelievable what he's doing. But, like we were talking off camera – with David Schindler, if you put pressure on Stafford, <laughs> he, you got to put pressure on him, and now we have a defense that could actually well, I was going to say, now we have that. Now we have the team to, to apply said pressure. Uh, and, but ultimately, though, too, given our situation with Derrick Henry out, this is the, although we don't have much pressure in this game, we got to keep Tannehill upright. We do. We, we, he's got to He's got to fly home safe. We, in, yeah. In bubble wrap. And, and the thing I know is the last two games he has looked comfortable. The first five games he didn't look comfortable. Now the pockets there. Our offensive line's playing better. Dude, he could he could sling the rock. We're we're, okay. we're uh, gelling. Listen, uh, we were talking about this uh, off camera. So uh, the last time. Tannehill, uh, you know, started a game without Henry was the Saints game a couple of years ago. And although we lost that game here at home, yep. I don't know if you were here for that game. I was. We lost that. It was a, it was a battle back and forth. He was like 17 for 27. Had a good game. You know, had almost 300 yards, three touchdowns. It was, yeah, he had a good game. He can do it now. He's gelling with these guys. I mean, you watch Nick Westbrook Akeen is going to go off for right? 200 yards. I mean, you never know with this team. Uh, but yeah, but again, no pressure. We're just going to sit back and watch a prime time game and watch our Titans do their thing in SoFi. Sunday night football, baby. Yeah, yeah. We want them to feel good at SoFi Stadium. Oh, yeah. Get comfortable there Get at comfortable. SoFi. We might be back there, you know what I'm saying. All right. <laughs> uh, I'm loving it. And listen, whoever's out there, uh, feed Derrick Henry grapes. 
massage the other foot. Uh, take care of that yeah. man. Guys, thank you for being here. We're number one in the AFC right now. Matt Rogers, my Good man. Morning. Love it. It's a good time to be a Titan. As always, Titan.